Is there ever bad enough? So you may have a tip. You know, he used to run horses in Russia before he became Minister of the Interior. Hello, Alexandra. Hello. What are you backing? I suppose one really ought to put something on the king's horse. How loyal. In Russia, do you always back the Tsar's horse? No. In Russia, I generally back my father's horse. I do at least know they're trying. Oh, then you know more about them than I do, my dear. That's not very difficult, father. There's the king's horse. There's the king's horse. Here he goes. Hello, Father Gill. Having a Sit final visit, huh? Yes, my final visit to England. All I've left on the King's Hall. How much? Five bob. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I see you've been press correspondent in Russia five years. Yes. Going back to the same job? No, this time I'm translating English novels for a publisher. <laughs> Have no difficulty with the language, eh? No, very little in speaking and not much in writing. When do you leave? Tomorrow night, Charing Cross. Thank you. Goodbye, Alexander. And thank you for the lovely flowers. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Your Excellency. I'm sorry you can't stay for shooting. Oh, thanks, but there's plenty of shooting where I'm going. Bears, wolves? No, oh, everything. Even ministers. Take a seat, please. I... Excuse me, sir. Dinner is served. Why leave the dining car always at the other end of the train? <laughs> Countess Olga Vesselrode. Princess Nina Volkonsky. Is my back all right? For the tenth time, yes. Oh, I know I'm going to faint. Countess Vera Rostov. Countess Alexandra Vladinov. The daughter of the minister, betrothed to Colonel Adraxin. Countess, we congratulate you. Colonel Adraxin is a very lucky man. What a lovely child. Oh, Anna Skrupov. What did His Majesty say? We congratulate you. Oh. Colonel Adraxin is a very lucky man. Yes, I am. And Alexandra is a very lucky girl, aren't you, darling? Why, of course she is. Of course I am. I hope it will be a success. Well, of course it will be. He is the greatest fool in the guards, and she is the cleverest girl at court. Go. Some more tea. Hello, Father Gill. Hello, Sir Field. You are in a hurry. Yes, I have to go to the police. The police? Well, are you lunching at the London Tavern? I hope so. Sorry, I'm late. Goodbye. 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 Anyway, you admit you wrote this article. Of course. It's an attack on the imperial government. Not an attack, merely on account of a system of government. In your opinion. If you were Russian, it would mean Siberia. Your permit to remain in Russia is cancelled. But my whole future's bound up in Russia. You have 48 hours to get out. Look here, sir, you don't realize I, I, I've worked here for years. I, I love Russia. I've tried to make the English understand that, 
The Russian outlook. I... I'm sorry, but I have 23 appointments before lunch. I say there's nothing else for it but to clear out in 48 hours. 48 hours. Two days. Huh? There it is. Six years' hard work completely chucked away. There are other jobs, of course. Not in Russia. Certainly. But the police have chucked me out. Not if you do the right job. Well, what, for instance? The British Secret Service. Be a spy. Why not? We're not afraid of the word. You'll be serving your country. You wouldn't have to give anyone away. All we want is information. Information of what? A revolutionary movement. Now, my job is to recruit young Englishmen like yourself who can speak Russian well enough to pass as Russians. Go on. What's the catch? Well, if you're caught, the number's up. But I... I could claim British nationality, couldn't I? No, you couldn't do that. But if we did tell the truth, British authorities would politely disclaim all knowledge of you. That is a case of heads they win, tails I lose. A bit one-sided, isn't it? Yes. That's the chance we all take. And space are the good. What's it interest, Joe? No, I don't think so. No way. Of cream, please. Yes, sir. Well, think it over. How do you do, Father Gill? Good morning. Pleased to see you. Come along. I'll introduce you to our general manager. Oh, thanks. Well, aren't you a bit surprised to see me this morning? Well, uh, it takes a good deal to surprise me, you know. This way. Surely the police will be there to see me off the premises, won't they? Naturally. But this evening, a man carrying your passport will leave Russia. You collect his luggage at the station and board the night express for Germany. That's the fellow you've got to look like. Peter Urano. Who's Peter Urano? You are. That's your name for the future. You'd better memorize it. And uh, what's Peter Urano's first job? To join the revolutionary movement. There's a man named Axelstein. He runs a bookshop. I've got the pamphlets from Zurich. But I think the distribution will be difficult. Do you think you can manage? I'll do my best. Ah, that's lovely. Beautiful. Yes, that's the 1840 edition. Is it? Have you seen Maroni in today? No, oh, he ought to have been here half an hour ago. Hope nothing's happened to him. Such a hot head. Mm. Oh. What about this one? <laughs> yes, that's where you're going. Maroni! Do you know what's happened? For the third time this month, 20 students arrested. 20? Yes, 20. Five of them girls. You know what that means. Exile in the north and their work stopped. Oh, dreadful. Yes, you say dreadful. What do we do? Nothing. No, no, no. Next. Does anyone ever do anything? We just talk and talk and talk. Quiet, you young fools. You want to talk? Uh, I have taken the liberty of telling Your Excellency's coachman to go by the Nietzscheoff Bridge. But that's a long way around. I have to meet my daughter, and it's already... 3.15, Your Excellency. No. Pardon, Excellency. Prudence, Your Excellency, is Prudence. essential. <laughs> if you're sure, police around me, the 
incites the terrorists. But I am personally responsible to His Majesty for Your Excellency's life. Oh, let's if I could go, own... let's go. Do you like it, Father? Are you happy, dear? Really happy? Of course, dear. God bless you, my darling. I'll be ready in a few minutes. Can I come home with you? No, not in my carriage. I couldn't risk it. Not as things are just now. Anyway, we haven't got the package from Norway yet. I have enough jelly knife left for two oranges. We need four. Moronin is quite sure of himself. Oh, his impatience will ruin everything. Moronin's an impulsive muddler. What's more, he's always late. Half past nine. Here he comes. At last. You're late. I'm sorry, I had a client. May I? Yes, go ahead, sir. A client, a police officer. I couldn't get rid of him. We're all agreed that the business must be postponed. Oh, I agree with Maronia. There's no time to work out a proper plan. Oh, talk as usual. All I need to know is the route and the time. The wedding procession is to cross the bridge at 5.15. The second carriage is bloody nose. as I ran, just after I threw the bomb. The you mind if I stay here a little while? No, no, of course not. There may be danger to you. Danger? Don't be a fool. Sorry to be such a bother to you.
let you go prisoner? Yes, I know better off than you. Tell me, how far is it to Siberia? It'll take us at least six weeks. Come on, hurry up. about these dining cars. The lunch wasn't good, but the dinner was simply uneatable. The soldier I'm accustomed to privations, but the caviar was filthy and the champagne certainly not 1906. Now what the devil's happened? The train stopped, sir. I know that, you fool. What for? I'll go and see, sir. Colonel Draxin? Yes. Urgent dispatch, Colonel. Bad news? Splendid news. General mobilization. Do you know what that means? War. War, at last. Get ready to leave. Borozev? Yeah. Bernstein? Yeah. Nevsky? Yeah. Orsipenko? Orsipenko? He's there. He's a fever. Never mind. Come on, help him up. Come on, get up, Andy. Come on. There's a doctor where you're going. All right. Rico? Yeah. Fadin? Yeah. Chiskin? Yeah. Yep. Of tobacco, you please. can only have two. How's that? It's the most we're allowed to sell prisoners. You'll sure have to do that. Well, give me two. Sugar? Over there. Excuse me, Captain. Are we to remain here? What's your name? Urano. Axelstein. Axelstein? Mm. No, you have to go to Ruskoyensk. Ruskoyensk? I never heard of that. I have. Uh. Here? No, no. East of that. About here? Somewhere there. It's over a thousand versts north of here. Well, then. Yes. The world's end. We're leaving in a few minutes. Get ready. This has just come. Smells like fire, doesn't it? Yes, looks like all European countries will soon be involved. Lady, sir? The sled here? Lady? The sled here. We can start out. Would you mind telling us the latest news? We've heard nothing for several weeks. You knew Russia was at war, didn't you? No, it didn't. With what country? Germany. France, England, Austria. They're all in it. Nothing. Yes, England. Looks as if the whole world's coming in. England. Well, war's one thing you won't have to worry about in Rusko Yens. War. That's what we've been waiting for. Come on, come on! Russian, come on, get it! Oh, 
Now, now. What's the time? What is that matter? The night for six months. That unblasted cold hell for two years. It's 11.33 in the morning if you're really interested. We are the last things alive. I'm sorry, Axelstein. I have to be melodramatic once in a while. Calendar finished yet? I can't be quite sure whether it's March the 15th or the 16th. I suppose it makes little difference. Well, at least we do know that it is 1916. Two years in this frozen hell while the rest of the world turns upside down and inside out. And no tobacco. I've been working out a theory, Uranov. The Imperial Army is sure to be defeated. Yeah, perhaps even now the war's over. Russia's fate is in the hands of her own people. There's bound to be a revolution. Work fellows and peasants, the last hour of the struggle is here. With a fist of arm, we must wipe out the bourgeois and aristocrats from the face of the earth. Death or victory, now or never. the Soviets of Kalinz, I ask you to honor us, Comrade Axelstein, by accepting the position of chairman of the Soviets of our town. All who are officials or skilled work will have to join the Red Army. All in. Next. Have you any papers? Come with me. Just a minute. It's Comrade Axelstein. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. This is my dear comrade and friend, Peter Uranov, the man who was sentenced with me to exile. Come in, and you are my assistant. 
Olga! you waiting for? Come on. What's the matter with you? She's only a woman. to get away. I was... I was born here. Born here, were you? Well, now you can die here. See to it. Next one. Give me that coat. Give me shirt. Give me shirt. Have a look at her. No. My orders are to wait till Comrade Extrastein arrives. And what is more, all this senseless destruction has got to stop. Don't you understand? You're destroying the property of the all people. All right, all right. The point is, what are we going to do with a woman? I say shoot her and be done with it. No. Why not? Here is an order requiring us to send her to Petrograd for Waste examination. Waste of time. We've got the rifles, we've got the wall, and we've got the woman. And we've got the order. Here, whose side are you on? On the side of revolutionary discipline. Revolutionary fiddlesticks. 
How much has she promised you to let her go? Be careful, Tonsky, or I shall report you to the Central Committee. Report me? You'll hear some reports before the night's out, I promise you. There's going to be trouble here unless we get her away. Yes, and not much time to lose. Well, it's up to you. If you start at once, you can reach Saratus before dawn and take the train to Petrograd. Assistant Commissar. I'm ready. Wait. Am I not to be shot? No. But I want to be shot. I hate you all. I despise you. You're right vermin. Long live Russia. Long live the Tsar. What must I say to make you kill me? I have to take you to Petrograd. Why? I order the government. Is it Petrograd? That I don't know. But they kill me. I have my orders, and I must obey them. I'm sorry. And it's better that you should obey them too. Why? Well, it's better. It's good. You can't go like that. Do you want them to tear you to pieces? I'll try and find you something that'll make you less conspicuous. station as quick as you can and don't stop for anything. Come along. You better hurry. Good morning, comrade. You are the station master, I suppose. I am the station master. When do you expect the next train to Petrograd? Train number 617 to Petrograd at 2.20 p.m. Will it be on time? The 2.20 is always on time.
Go back to Kalinsk and report to Comrade Axelstein that I took the first train from Saratus. I was to go with you, Comrade. You go back to Kalinsk and report as ordered. I go back to Kalinsk, Comrade, and report as ordered. You know you've nothing to fear from me, don't you? I know, Commissar. Where are the guards? I'll send them back to Kalinsk. Were those your orders? No, thank you. Why did you send them back? Didn't like them again. Were you afraid of them? Afraid for me? Now that you're alone, aren't you afraid that I'll try to escape? Where could you go? Yes, you're right. Where could I go? Go back to Karlinsk. <laughs> Comrade Commissar. He wants the woman to himself. He has plenty of money. Did you not see it? I did. Go back to Karlinsk, eh? Yes. Afterwards. And report that you joined the train at Saratusk, eh? <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name, Commissar? My name's Peter Urano. Peter Orano. Uh -huh. Where are you from? Oh, you wouldn't know the place. Oh, sorry. The far away? Very far away. Do you know my name? Yes, I know it's Alexander. Were you living in Petrograd? Well, I was, but I know it from the my orders. Oh yes, your orders. Take your seats, please, Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd. Take your seats, please, Kazan. What did he say? The train? I didn't hear anything, did you? Yeah, just a minute. Wait, please. I'll, I'll go and see. Take your seats, please, Kazan. Moscow, Petrograd. 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 Where's the train? Take your seats, please, Kazan. Moscow, Petrograd. But I don't see the train. Trains that are seen are being blown up. We're in for rather a long way. I think you better try and get some sleep. Not very comfortable, but I don't know when you get another opportunity. You're very tired, you know. Please try and sleep. Thank you. Why don't you try and get some sleep? All right. I think I better stay away. Where are you, Commissar? I'm here. Why is it all so quiet? At stations, one always hears whistles, signals, bells. Oh, the bells are out of order. Try to sleep. I can't sleep. I've been trying to pray. 
You don't pray, of course, Commissar. Sometimes. When I was having long, sleepless nights, I used to try to repeat verses to myself. You were not sleepless nights? Siberia. Oh. What verses? Oh, Shakespeare, Browning, Shelley. But they're English poets. Have you been a student in Petrograd? No. At Oxford. But it was very seldom that Russian students went to Oxford. My father wanted me to go to Oxford. See. See some of your verses. Browning. Browning. You must know fear death. Fear death to feel the fog in my throat, the mist in my face. Oh, I'm afraid I'll be boring you. Well, just the end, I admired. For sudden, the worst turns the best to the brave. The black minutes at end. And the elements rage, the fiend voices that rave, shall dwindle, shall blend, shall change. Shall become first a peace out of pain, then a light. Then thy breast, O thou soul of my soul, I shall clasp thee again. And with God be the rest. Do you like it? It's optimistic, like the English. Listen to a Russian poem. It is hopeless and pessimistic, like we Russians. I have grown weary of my little dream. I have outlived the hour of my desire. Alone with tortured empty heart I weep beside the ashes of their dead gray fire. The blasting wind of destiny has blown the roses of my glory with its breath. Go on, don't stop. And listen for the shambling feet of death. Since solitude has made winter in my heart, now like the last frail lonely leaf am I. Go on, keep back. That waits upon the storm like forest bough. And fall and tremble down the sky. Defense. You saved my life, and probably your own as well. Train number 617. Train number 617. Train number 617. Something away from you. You feel strong enough? No, no, I do wait outside for the train. I'm afraid there are no trains. No trains. What are all these people hurrying for? Take your seats, please, Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd. Take your seats, please, Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd. Take your seats, please, Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd. Take way up, way up, take your seats. Take your seats, please. Take your seats. Take your seats, please. Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd, take your seats, please. Take your seats. Kazan, Moscow, Petrograd. Just a moment. Just a moment. No, leave me alone. I'm not going to hurt you. All I want to know is where you're going. Forest. The forest? Why? To hide? Hmm? Come on, you can tell me. Fresh soldiers. Yeah. Came to Santa Cruz. Mm. The other army. Which? The whites? Come on, you can tell me. I'm not going to hurt you. All I want to know is which, the reds or the whites? 
white. Are you sure? Yes, sure. officer. Cossack. Sure. All right, sure. You hear that? Seems that the white should be taken, Sarah, too. I heard. Well, it's, it's about a mile from here. Can you manage it? Yes. Come on, there. White Army. Let's go to the outpost. You better shout out as you get near in case they try to shoot you. Ask at once for an officer. Tell him who you are and tell him to take you to the Commandant. Say that you've escaped from a Red Commissar who is taking you to Petrograd. Ask for his help and try to get at once to the South. Goodbye. And you? Oh, no, I'll be all right. Safety, any dear. Would you allow me to thank no, you? No, no, no. Goodbye. Come on, Juana. Yes. Number four. All right, pass. Citizen, I was made commissar against my will. <laughs> Take him out. But, Captain, I am innocent. I swear it, I am innocent, Captain. <laughs> you don't understand, Captain. Corporal Kamenev of Outpost 4 reporting the prisoner. What's you been doing? Came to the outpost and wanted to see the commanding officer. Your name? I'm the Countess Adraxine. Hmm? I want to see the commanding officer. And what business had you at the outpost? I want to see the commanding officer. Answer my question. Are you the commanding officer? Answer my question or you'll be sorry for it. General! Alexandra Nikolaevna? Huh? My dear Alexandra. But what in heaven's name is all this? A very stubborn insistent on seeing the commanding officer. And the captain, very rightly, wanted to know what I was doing here. Come with me, Sasha. We'll look after you. By the week, we shall have retaken colors. Yes, you'll be back in your own home again. Could I possibly have a bath? Yes, sir. Kaske? Come here, Excellency. 
Your Excellency. The best room you have for the Countess and a bath. Well, I can manage the bath, Your Excellency, but... Uh, There's no but. Where's Excellency? There's no soap. Mm. Lieutenant Gagarin? Yes, sir. A cake of soap for the Countess. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, General. I'm sorry to give you so much trouble. Oh, it's no trouble at all. And I hope you'll preside at our dinner. I would love to. But I can't appear like this. Hmm, you certainly do something about it. What about this one? That's getting better. But aren't they wanting you in the house? Let them want. I think there's somebody at the door. Dresses for the Countess. Good gracious. <laughs> I hope you bought enough. <laughs> well, she can't dine with us without a frock. No, more's the pity. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Your dresses have come. I think there are about 50 of them. Will you please go and lay them out on the bed? Do you remember me, the man the clover? Go on. Please don't stop. Will you have a glass of champagne, Countess? <laughs> Yes, but I can't believe that I'm really here, in safety, and with friends, and to hear music again. Yes, it's all over, Sasha. Cheer up. Now, Countess, what are your plans? To leave Russia. Leave Russia? <laughs> Why, in another month we shall be in Petrograd. Well, of course. You are coming home with us. Shall we dine? Cause for anxiety, Sasha. What was it? Oh, just a matter of routine. They weren't killing the red prisoners. They were executing some commissars and a few other red bandits. the company. I've been on patrol duty. Fall in with us. We storm Saratusk in an hour.
Your service, comrade. This vodka is filthy stuff. You can do better than this. Well, I have some special bottles in the cellar, but there's not enough for everybody. Everybody? But I'm not everybody. Bring them up. At once, comrade. Ah. Responsible for the death of 43 comrades. I tried to save all I could. I can bring witnesses. Take him away. Don't. Don't. Comrade. Next. Comrade. Black man and tennis. And the last lady of the Soviet, the freedom commissar, our leader, comrade Lenin, for all tennis and black men who are married. All comrades. All comrades. They can decide nothing. Oh. The commissars, and what's more, they're all cowards. <laughs> yeah, well, good health to the delegates. Yeah. Good health, good health. This is my round. Welcome, comrade. Come on. Delegates, treating us all. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Drink. Sit down. Come on, have a drink. Have a drink, have a drink. Oh, 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 oh. why worry? Forget it. Drink. <laughs> yeah. That's better. Shall I tell you a great secret? Mm -hmm. huh? Soldiers are soldiers. White or red, there's no difference. No. They can order you about, but what can they do? Shoot, kill, destroy, but but I organize. Can you organize, comrade? Yeah. The reorganization of the economical life on the basis of the expropriation of the means of production. Bravo! <laughs> Did you understand that? Yes. You did? Do you want to reorganize the boot factory? I'll make you commissar for reorganizing the boot factory. No? Yes. No? Electricity, that's very important. We're going to electrify the whole country. Prisons? No. Hotels? What did you say about prisons, comrade? Well, reorganize everything. There it is. With my signature on that commission, you'd be in charge of the prisons. Good health, uh, <laughs> Bombard. Good health. Good health. We reorganize everything. Every reorganize. Reorganize everything, eh? 
What's become of this Countess of Draxit? She's in the prison. Take two men and bring her here. before we go home. No, brother, we've had enough. Drink it yourself. Sorry, comrade, the woman prison's already been released. What? What on earth? The commissar went to the prison. What? Stop that row over there, commissar. Yes, with a special order. The devil he did. What fools they've been. We must get them both, man and woman. Call a search party. Send a hundred men. A hundred men? A hundred men! Don't sit there waiting. Get off! Come on! You know this forest? It belongs to me. It belongs to me. We mustn't rest here any longer. I'm on the run now as well as you. Shall we go? Not just yet. Why? I'm afraid the searchers are coming the forest. What do you want me to do? There's someone in the woods, not far from here. I think we'll be safe here. Keep your nerve now, won't you? Yes. I swear you'll kill me before you let them get me. Yes. I swear. It's our only chance.
Found anything yet? Who are you? Huh? You're not our company. No. What company are you? What? Sir. What the dickens are you doing here? This is our beach. Oh, it's the devil's own job, comrade. I, I'm no forester. I lost my way because I lost my whistle. You're not going to drink alone. Oh. No, only an ox drinks alone, ever. <laughs> How can I answer? I've lost my whistle. <laughs> you let me drink and I'll whistle, yeah. will you? Let's sit here and finish this. No, no, no. We can finish that as we go along. Come on, they'll be looking for his comrade. Oh, it's a dog's life, mm. comrade. Mm. Oh. Where are you going? They're over there. No, they're not. They're there. We heard them. Is he with our outfit? No, no, I'm with the others. Oh, he's all right. We can go along together. Hmm. Is the flask empty? Not quite. Did you fall in love with me? First time I saw you, get up, I said. Get up. You turned, and I was lost. Eyes opened and manna fell from heaven. You ready? Catch. <laughs> Did you call this outfit manna? Well, I thought we'd better look like refugees than soldiers. Keep still, just a minute. There. Come here. Careful. Where did you pick them up? Pick them up? If you'd heard me bargaining for them, and for the other things. Did you bring some food too? Did I bring some food? I don't believe it. Lobster. Yeah. Jam. Mm, and? Brandy. There's enough there to last us for days and days. I think that old boy must be the champion looter of the revolution. And all he wanted was your wristwatch? Well, what's the use of a wristwatch in a country where trains are apt to be a week late? Oh, yes, trains. 
We have to find a train. Hmm. And we can. The old boy told me. We're not very far from the line to Kazan. We must go down into the plain. How far is it to the nearest station? The nearest station? There are 10,000 people waiting for the train at every station. Just wait here. You'll see. We'll stop them. To be with my family. What was your job in Moscow? I, I was a clerk in an insurance office. Every word a lie. You are Kornilov, managing director of the Pudolovsky Works in Petrograd. You financed the white bandits. You conspired against the republic of workers and peasants. You're a fugitive from the justice of the people. And you're on your way to the white army. 
condemned to be shot. Next. Show me your hands. Why did you send him in? I didn't, Comrade Pushkov. He came with a woman. Who is the woman? My sister. Step up. Show me your hands. These are the hands of a woman who... who never worked in her life. Your occupation? I was a lady's maid. Worst sort of counter-revolutionaries. Lackeys, valets, ladies' maids. Your name? Anton Andre. From? Takarovsky. To? Mr. Boris. What for? I have a brother there. My sister needs nurse. Why? She was ill. What illness? Typhoid come. Why aren't you in the army? I was in. You too? Sensitive family. Three quarters of the population of Takarovsk were was sick with typhoid. What's your occupation? Electrician. The army needs electricians. I leave my sister with my brother and report for service in the army. Buzz. Countess! Good at you. Well rehearsed. Countess Alexandra Adraxine Nave Vladinov. Daughter of the bloodhound of Vladinov, fugitive from the people's justice. What is your name? Maria Andreev. Don't be ridiculous, Puskov. Look. Yes, there is a slight resemblance. Slight? Slight. Well, what else do you need to prove her guilty? Proofs. Witnesses. What, expect a grand duke to turn up? No, but there's Lishin. What about Lishin? Lishin was a gardener on the Adraxin estate. I'll fetch him. Stand back. Next. Your name? Ivan Smirnov. Just my size. <laughs> no! Who's that? Fire! Did you find anything on him? This comrade, sewn in the lining of his coat. White spy. Condemned to be shot. Come here. Stand here. Turn your face to him. Lishin, look at that woman. Who is she? I don't know, comrade. Have you never seen her before? Never, comrade. Lishin, you were a gardener on the Adraxin estate. I was. Do you ever see the Countess? Very often, comrade. Are you ready to swear that this woman is not the Countess? In front of the altar, comrade. That's all. Take her to the guardroom. And now what? Honored guests of the revolution? No, I have to report to the checker in Zamara. I'll take them with me. Waste of time. We've no right to shoot this woman unless we can prove her guilty. Rubbish! If she's identified, guilty. Guilty. they'll both be shot. The train leaves in an hour. Next! 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 Reserve! It was an ordeal for us this time. Sorry, but we can't be too careful. Yes, yes, of course. 
I think it's best that we make ready for the night straight away. Oh, let me help. Thank you. You must be tired out and ready for sleep. Yes, I'm tired. Oh, let me go up there. It's quite all right. You oh, go below. I'll go, go but surely. Really, I insist. Well, it's very good of you. <coughs> when do we get to Samara? Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? Yes. Are you all right? Yes, thank you very much. I'm afraid you won't find it very comfortable here. <laughs> Seems quite luxurious to us. We've been traveling for three days in a cattle truck. Shall I shade the light? Yes, thank you. No, I didn't hear him go. Don't worry. He won't be far away. What do you think of the fellow? He's very polite. Mm -hmm. Well, that's something anyway. What's more, he strikes me as an honest man. You're right. But that's not going to make things any easier for us. Hmm. Come in. Oh, tea. Yes. I got it from the engine driver. Thank you. Nothing could have had something. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Well, Commissar, are we going to face another trial in Samara? Yes, I'm afraid so. And when that happens, perhaps it might be wiser to tell a more convincing story about yourselves. Don't you think we were speaking the truth, then? Can there ever be truth without trust? You, for instance, don't trust me. Obviously not. At any rate, we owe you our lives. Even that was a matter of hard lying. You should thank Li Xin. He's a marvelous liar. Shouldn't we also thank you, Commissar, for telling him what lie to tell? Oh, no, no, you mustn't think of it like that. My own lie was a very poor one compared with Li Xin's. What was your lie? When I said that, that photograph bore only a slight resemblance to you. Actually, I thought it a pretty good one. You don't think I'm going to admit it? Oh, no, of course not. Don't let's admit anything. I don't really care who you are. Yet you made every effort to save my life. That was because I liked you. Did you? Well, since you don't care who I am, there's no reason why we all shouldn't be the greatest of friends. Oh, I hope that. But perhaps you'd share some food that I've got. I'm afraid the bread's very stale, but there's a little cheese to go with it. Don't you think, as the Commissar is so kind, we might share our food? We brought some with us, too. Oh. Amazing to think that I offered you my stale bread. You're very grateful for it. I haven't had a picnic like this for years. There's even enough for supper tonight, and this to wash it down with. Oh. You don't know, Samara? No. Our army's just deep. It's full of very important people. All kinds of people who were all kinds of things for the revolution. There are bound to be many who knew the Countess of Jackson personally. And no Lysian, sir. The perfect Lysian is the rarest of all creatures. I see. 
So you're warning us? Well, hardly as much as that, but I'm wondering what's going to happen to you. We none of us know that, do we? No, but I thought you might possibly have something in mind. I'm afraid we just do what we can as a rule. Don't we? I mean, you... It does take a chance if it comes along. What else can we do? You had luck, Silver. Wonderful luck. And the most wonderful of all is to meet you. Do you think so? Yes, I do think so. Even if tomorrow means the end of us. As it may do. Tomorrow may mean the end of me too. If it does, will you remember me? Forgive me for saying that to your sister. I understand, Miss Carter. We both understand. Before we reach Samara tomorrow, I'd like to... Humbly beg your pardon. You know what you must think of me behaving like this? It's brandy. I, I'm not used to it. I... No, it's that's quite understandable. We've all been through a great strain. Just a small place on the Volga. If you go down there, you come to the river in about ten minutes. You see some some barges tied up for the bank for the night. I believe they sometimes take a passenger if they've money to pay. Some of the bargemen are Tatars. Grand old fellas. This is really the most interesting part of Russia. Only so few people see it. it... Excuse me, I must go and get our order stamped by the commissar. Do you know, I, I pity him in a way. He's such a boy. should have a chance, surely. Yes, I believe you're right. We should. And with the boy. What about him? He might... He might suffer for it. Yes, that's true. What's happened? Hey, Commissar, I shot himself. Deliberately, through the head. There's no time. What is it? What is it? I just realized that, that this is what he wanted us to do. Of course. Come.
me, Dennis. We were going too fast for you. We're approaching Astrakhan. As soon as we arrive, I'll fetch a doctor. Nobody else on the barge? Nobody ill? Come on, speak up. A hey, woman. A man has gone for a doctor. Well, I'm a doctor. Easy mop. Bar is off. Luke in. A book off. Devrilenko. Ivanovsky. Blow mop. Must be in. Leaning. No, no, no. Run up. No. Run up. A run up. Where is the run up? Bevich. Just stop. All right, the fire, sir. No! No! Well, 
the next batch can go, march them on. Right, Ted. No. Pick them up. No. 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 Get up, what are you doing? Get on, in a few minutes it won't hurt you anymore. Shoot, you fool! Get after him! You can't go in there. This is Red Cross Hospital. There's an operation going on. Well, I'll wait till it's over. I know this is unbelievable, Doctor. I've no proof, I've no papers, nothing, but you must believe me. Of course I believe you, but you will you be quiet? Yes. How can I tie up your wound if you don't stay still? It's all right, I'll keep it. Nurse! Yes, Doctor? Have you got that list? Yes, sir. Read out the names of the women leaving for Bucharest. Elizabeth Borisovna Popova, Anna Grigorovich, Maria Wukash, Sofia Raevich, Baroness Maria Dmitrovna Rosen, Countess Alexandra Nikolaevna Adrak... Attraction! You mean she's on that train? It's too late! Get away! Take down there! Take down there! 